ESA, the European Space Agency, has placed a brand new cosmic detective deep in space since summer 2023. The mission is ambitious. Euclid aims to capture and map nothing less than the entire known universe and give us an even better understanding of the function of dark matter in space. The new space telescope will image billions of stars and galaxies in sharper detail than ever before. The brilliance of the images will surprise you and the level of detail will even surpass NASA's James Webb Telescope. Why do we actually need another space telescope and another map of space? Don't we now know roughly where all the stars and galaxies are? To some extent, yes, but never before in the history of mankind has a telescope been able to map the sky and the entire spectrum of stars as precisely as Euclid. The telescope's mission, which will last at least six years, is by no means just about capturing light and taking beautiful pictures of stars. ESA has something very special in mind with its new space detective. Thanks to Euclid, European scientists want to uncover the secrets of dark energy and dark matter for the first time. Although they are said to make up 95% of the universe, these two essential building blocks of the cosmos have never actually been seen or measured. Euclid's task is to decipher the secret structure of the universe. It started on July 1, 2023 from the Cape Canaveral spaceport in Florida, USA. On board a powerful SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, the Euclid Space Telescope began its journey into space. After successfully launching and leaving the Earth's atmosphere, the rocket set the telescope on its way to the Sun-Earth Lagrange Point 2, about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. Along the way, the telescope performed a series of maneuvers to precisely adjust its orbit. Once it had received the L2 point, an intensive phase of calibration and testing of the scientific instruments began. Euclid is equipped with a state-of-the-art 1.2-meter primary mirror. The visible light camera, VIS, the near-infrared spectrometer, and the NISP photometer will capture even the faintest light from the most distant stars and provide us with full panoramic images of space. Euclid opens its eyes for the first time. Euclid has already caused the astronomical community to tremble in its short time of existence. The initial period after the launch during which the instruments and accompanying systems were switched on, tested, and calibrated, went well. ESA Mission Control worked around the clock in two shifts to get their new super launch ready for takeoff. Then the time had come, the mirrors were de-iced, the NISP sensors were woken up, and Euclid opened its eyes for the first time. The very first test images took the astronomer's breath away. The density of stars that Euclid can image is incredible, and these test images are just the beginning. Euclid is one of the most precise missions ever launched. The technology provides razor-sharp images and will image stars and galaxies up to 10 billion years away. Euclid constantly scans the sky, and every 75 minutes the telescope aligns itself with a new patch of sky. It's controlled fully automatically by a fine guidance sensor, which consists of optical sensors that independently aim at stars. The sensors then transmit their information to the attitude and orbit control system, and in this way, the two navigation units determine the alignment and the scanned sky area largely independently over the entire course of the mission. See for yourself what comes out of it. This all-sky image shows the entire night sky with almost 1.7 billion recognizable stars. Brighter regions indicate denser concentrations of stars, while the darker regions correspond to regions of the sky with fewer bright stars. The bright horizontal structure is the flattened disk of our own Milky Way. The galactic center can be seen in the middle of the image, and the bizarre play of colors is created by blue and red components in the captured light signals. The two bright objects in the bottom right of the image are the large and small Magellanic clouds, both of which orbit the Milky Way. Incredible, the Perseus Cluster. Very few telescopes deliver such beautiful and razor-sharp images of space. Once again, Euclid impresses with the sharpness and brilliance of the images. This image shows more than 1,000 galaxies in the Perseus Cluster, which is around 250 million light-years away from Earth. Another 100,000 galaxies can be seen in the background. Scientists hope that this image will shed light on the existence of dark matter. 
Thanks to the unique combination of photographic and infrared images, the telescope can capture a very large and very detailed area of the universe with a single image. This will slowly create the largest three-dimensional map of the universe of all time. Brand new, the Horsehead Nebula. Although the Horsehead Nebula has already been photographed by Hubble, we have never seen the region around the nebula in such a wide view. Unlike Hubble and James Webb, Euclid can image the region around individual objects over a large area. The Horsehead Nebula is a M-sized star-forming region and is located in the constellation of Orion at a distance of about 1,500 light-years. Euclid's Fascinating Technology How did the ESA manage to make this telescope deliver images that no other telescope in the world can? The technology is actually fascinatingly simple and effective. The 1.2-meter mirror collects even the finest light and splits it into visible and infrared light waves. These pulses are then passed to the visible instrument, VIS, and the near-infrared spectrometer and photometer, NISP. VIS's task is to take very sharp images of galaxies. In space, there is no interfering light from the Earth's atmosphere, so camera systems placed directly in space provide far better images than most ground-based telescopes. VIS collects visible light in the range of wavelengths from green 550 nanometers to near-infrared 900 nanometers. The device uses a mosaic of 36 camera sensors, each of which contains more than 4,000 pixels. This gives the detector around 600 megapixels. VIS, therefore, has a very large field of view, and researchers want to get to the bottom of the structures hidden in it by means of the compressed representation of large areas of space. If successful, this could even help to prove the existence of dark matter in space. The NISP system is used for spectroscopic measurements to record the redshift of galaxies, which cosmologists use to calculate the distance and direction of movement of galaxies. Euclid's near-infrared spectrometer and photometer will perform the largest and most accurate 3D scan of the universe. NISP has the largest field of view ever built for an infrared telescope. The instrument measures infrared light in the 900 to 2000 nanometer range with a grid of 16 detectors, each providing 2,040 pixels. On the trail of scattered light. Despite their position deep in space, space telescopes such as Euclid are not entirely safe from scattered light phenomena. It occurs when light from objects outside the telescope's intended field of view enters the instrument and causes unwanted reflections and distortions. This can subsequently cause a reduction in the contrast and clarity of the observed celestial bodies, and it becomes much more difficult to capture and correctly image faint or distant objects. Euclid has been specially designed and equipped to minimize the effects of stray light so that this telescope can accurately observe even very faint and distant galaxies bringing us closer to the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. A key element in Euclid's design to reduce stray light is its special sun shield. Euclid always looks away from the sun into the darkness of space. But sunlight coming from behind would interfere with the images. A special device effectively shields the telescope from this sunlight and protects the sensitive observation and measuring instruments inside the telescope from interference. In the beginning, the technology did not work perfectly, and the scientists surprisingly had to deal with stray light, which affected Euclid's VIS instrument. However, this did not completely solve the problems. Euclid was able to record faint stars at a great distance without any problems, but the telescope had its difficulties when imaging our sun. However, both errors have now been rectified. Euclid is located at Lagrange Point 2 in a unique orbit behind the Earth. Here. Euclid normally always turns its back to the sun so that all sensitive parts of the telescope located in the rear areas are well protected. This protection is actually also intended to prevent sunlight from scattering in front of the camera and measurement sensors. But that didn't work at first. Something was blinding the new telescope, and the ESA engineers were once again on the lookout for faults. It turned out that a mount of the VIS instrument was minimally reflecting the light of the sun and interfering with the first test images. However, the astronomers and engineers managed to get this under control, and at the beginning of November, ESA proudly presented a whole series of fantastic images. 
IC 342 is a large spiral galaxy that is hidden behind our galaxy, the Milky Way, where it was barely visible due to the dust and light of our galaxy. Researchers therefore call IC 342 the hidden galaxy. On the first completely sharp and detailed images of this galaxy, the blue regions represent areas with younger stars. The yellow and red regions are accordingly areas with older stars. The color differences we enjoy in this colorful galaxy are due to the scattering of light. Red light took longer to travel, so we see older light sources here, and blue light took comparatively less time. What is exciting is that galaxies like this show a harmonious and almost perfect geometric shape, which means that God must have something to do with mathematics. It is precisely in this formation of geometrically perfect structures that researchers see the workings of dark matter and dark energy. The galaxy NGC 6822 is an irregular galaxy that was probably formed by the collision between two or more galaxies. Such galaxies usually contain a colorful mixture of older and younger stars because the order of the old galaxies has not yet been restored. When galaxies collide with each other, chaos is created first and then previously unknown forces seem to pull these collections of stars back into beautiful and harmonious shapes. Understanding these processes could provide us with important information about how the entire blueprint of the universe works, in addition to the pure exploration of galaxies in space. Never before in the history of astronomy have researchers been able to see the globular cluster NGC 6397 within our own galaxy in such brilliant detail. The scientists must have felt like it was Christmas with the sparkle and all the gifts this new telescope brings them. The millions of stars in NGC 6397 are some of the oldest stars in our galaxy and possibly some of the oldest in the universe. Click subscribe because the best videos are yet to come.